Ooh, first of all, this card is speaking to me from the fact that it's really telling me that as much as I want to hold myself hostage to my past, that I can't keep, I can't keep doing that. That, that, that just ain't going to work. Charlotte's sat, sat, I sat down, so that's why I said that. Welcome to Charlotte's sip, chat, and so I have my sewing machine, I have a surgery here, and then I have my sewing machine over here, and so the plan is for me to like, when I'm sewing, to kind of do, kind of sit up there and chat with you guys, because so what happens is a lot of times I'll be sitting up here sewing, and I'm, I'll be thinking about things, and things I want to say, things I want to do, and I thought, what would it be a good way for me to kind of communicate with the community, how to come talk to y'all, tell y'all what's going on with the business, the ups and downs and all arounds. Um, then to just kind of do my kind of sip chat. And so I'll probably be sipping on some water. It's all about hydration and, and Blue Bertha will be with us um, most days, <laughs> if not every time. And um, so I'm excited about doing that. Um, I'll be doing these videos on a regular basis. Um, I am working on a lot of different projects and I wanna tell you guys about these projects. I wanna tell you what's going on with the business in general. Tell you some of the challenges that I'm having as well as um, share with you um, some of the victories that I'm having because I am having some victories and nothing like spreading the good news so that others can be inspired and motivated as well. And so the other thing I thought I would do is I have a lot of decks of affirmation cards, um, tarot cards. And I thought even today, even though it's not official, this is my test run at <laughs> doing my, my sip chat. And so this morning, I thought what I would do is share with you a card um, from this deck. Um, it's called the Herbal Astrology um, Oracle. And so it has these really amazing cards in it. And um, I wanted to share with you guys um, this um, deck because here's a cover of it. Um, I wanted to share with you because I pulled just one of the cards out of the deck and it really spoke to me. And I'm hoping that in sharing it with you, maybe it'll speak to you as well. That whoever is listening, perhaps this is for you just like it is for me. I always tell people when I'm talking to you, more than likely, well, let's just say 100% of the time, I'm really talking to myself. <laughs> and so this first card is called Calendula. And this is what it looks like. And it also says purity on it. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in the book and I'm gonna read to y'all oh, kind of what it's meaning is because, oh man, when I read it this morning, um, man, it really spoke to me. So let me find this page real quick of Calendula. So this card, Calendula, is one of the herbs of the sun. So that its astrological ruler is the sun. Um, and it really represents purity. Um, so what happens is like when you're like shuffling the cards and you're doing a reading, um, what, what this book is going to tell you is like if you pull it in as upright, it means innocence, childlike joy, humility, purity, new beginnings, trusting in life and vitality. But it says if you pull it and it's reversed, it could represent broken innocence, lack of mindset, inability to access manifestations, resistance to new beginnings. So in this case, I did pull it up right. Um, but I feel like some of these reversed subject topics um, speak to me as well. And so I'm just going to read it to y'all because I just, I just wanted to share. Historically, calendula was known as the poor man's saffron. As it was used to add color and flavor to foods in place of the more expensive spices. Calendula petals are also added to salads and used as a dye for fabric and hair. That's an interesting thing to know that it was used for dye for fabric and hair. From infusions to extractions to ointments, ointments, 
folk medicine healers uh, prepared a wide array of healing remedies and foods with calendula. Its petals were used to induce, guess what y'all, menstrual flow. It produced sweat during fevers and actually was a cure to jaundice. Maybe we need to pull calendula back out. <laughs> now in the 19th century, physicians used calendula to treat viruses. Oh my goodness. This is why we need to go back to herbal medicines. It cured stomach ulcers, liver issues, and skin infections. Now traditionally, because of its astringent and anti-inflammatory powers, <laughs> which is what we all need right now, it was also used externally to treat burns, bruises, and wounds, and to help stop bleeding. So this next section um, in the book is what we call guidance. And basically, these are the words that um, is shared. Like, so if you, like, if I was pulling these cards and this one came up, this guidance message is what I'm really supposed to be delivering to the person as it relates to why they pulled this card, Calendula. So Calendula resembles the sun a radiant bright yellow or orange flower. It grows easily and spreads its joyful self across gardens, symbolizing the gesture of universal abundance. Hello. Solar herbs are those that neutralize poison and air in the recuperation of vital forces, meaning that it knocks all the... <laughs> It knocks all the mess out and brings all the pure good stuff in. I ain't mad at you, Calendula. I'm not mad at you, girl. Calendula's gentle and abundant power reminds us of the realms of light. To be allowed entry within these angelic realms requires childlike innocence and humility. Mm. Yeah. Don't allow the pain from the past to disable your ability to dream a new life. Mm. This card is so speaking to me. Let me finish up and then I'll talk to you about it. Calendula represents the pure impulse to create vitality and creativity needed to step into a new journey. Now, the radiance of Calendula is a superconductor. Ooh. Um, okay, let me keep reading. Be very aware and selective with your intentions when using her energy within a ritual as she greatly amplifies your intentions. Okay, so, <laughs> Whew. first of all, this card is speaking to me from the fact that it's really telling me that as much as I wanna hold myself hostage to my past, that I can't keep, I can't keep doing that. That, that, that just ain't gonna work that I want to continue to sentence myself to um, a certain kind of life because of my past, that uh, a couple of things. First of all, I need to um, take the shackles off, <laughs> which is called turning back to the past all the time. Uh, I need to kind of uh, parole myself. <laughs> and. I, you know, I say that I can laugh now, but I really do feel like I have paroled myself to a certain kind of life and that, um, with this card was really speaking to me and a lot, it just, it's just been everything that's been happening in my life in the last few years has really been speaking to me about this idea of that in many ways I have sentenced myself to, um, a lower level of life and that, um, it has taken me all this time really to understand what that was about and how much of my past I was allowing to hold me back. But more importantly, how... I sentenced myself, right? I could say that the world sentenced me and I could say the past sentenced me and I could say all the ill will and all the evil stuff that people have done to me has sentenced me. But the truth is I, <laughs> I um, held the key. I always held the key, but I never used the key and how important it is for me now to parole myself from all that, that you've done your time, Charlotte. <laughs> it's time for you to let the good in. And Calendula really um, reminded me because I feel like so many good things are happening in my life. I, I'm so humbly blessed and I feel so grateful for everything and it's happening fast. But I really love how this card is saying you have to, it, it, how calendula is a super conductor <laughs> and that you have to be very aware and selective of your intentions. And my intentions are big. Um, I got big plans for conscious gear. Um, not just for me, but for the world at large. And that 
um, when using her energy, right? When using this kind of energy, um, it will amplify my intentions, right? It will amplify what am I, what I am doing. And I feel like conscious gear is constantly getting amplified because I feel like I finally paroled myself. But more importantly, I'm allowing the universal intelligence to, um, I'm being more in alignment with the infinite intelligence, which I call God to manifest. And the manifestation is happening at a pretty quick clip, which sometimes is a little unsettling, but at the same time, I just feel like it's time, man, it's time. And so I want to say to those of you out there that are listening to the sound of my voice, this is for you too, that, um, you have every right to the good, to the blessings, um, and for them to come quick <laughs> and for you to know that um, you can handle whatever may come. So thank you guys for joining me for my first installment of Charlotte's Sip Chat. And so next time I'll be joining you, I will be at the Soul Machine because <laughs> my, my intentions are not to just be sitting up here talking. It's not my thing. It's not my jam. I had the card, which helped me do a little bit of talking. But next time I'll be sewing something and I'll tell you what I'm working on. Um, I also will share with you what's got, like I said before, what's going on with the business and um, allow you to see on the inside of what's going on, um, all the ups and downs and all arounds. Um, so thank you. Oh, sweet spirit. Thank you for um, mm, joining me. I appreciate your energy and um, I hope to see you next time. So take good care of yourself. And as always, I'll see you outdoors. Peace, light, and a whole bunch of love, fam. <laughs>